Today I'd like to show you guys Exploring Creation with Physical Science from Apologia, and this is the second edition. This is generally used in 8th grade, and we will be using it with our daughter this school year for her 8th grade. Often you would use this book after doing their 7th grade book, which is Exploring Creation with General Science. So let's take a look inside. As with the other Apologia books, there is always some book extras on their website if you're interested in that. And we'll take a look here at the table of contents to see what it covers. So we have things like the atmosphere and weather and Newton's laws, light, forces, astrophysics, etc. So let's take a look at module one. Here in the green boxes, we have the experiments. Now you can purchase science kits that go along with this, and we did purchase the science kit for my daughter for this year so that we have everything ready to go so I don't have to scramble around and gather um, supplies. So this gives you an idea of what is in a module or chapter. Whenever you see this little CD, that is when you get out your multimedia CD-ROM and watch a little video or it's like a little further explanation about um, what the chapter is talking about. So I will show you some of this later. So let's keep looking at the first module or chapter. One thing to know about physical science is that there will be some math involved in this book and that is something to keep in mind. Alright, so that is one chapter and at the end they have a study guide and if the student can um, answer all of these then they're ready for the test. So I'm going to flip through and you can have an idea of what the rest of the book is like. You can see that there is math here and there throughout the book. One thing that I find helpful with these books is the daily lesson plans. So this if you purchase the daily lesson plans, it helps your student to work independently. For example, mod Module 5, The Hydrosphere. So it says what to do each day. Begin Module 5 on page 105 and stop before Experiment 5.1 on page 109. So it tells them exactly what to read each day, also when to do the experiments, and also when to do the study guide questions, when to be studying, and when to take the test. So this um, is very helpful for the student to start working independently. So that is the daily lesson plans. And we have here the solutions and tests. So these are the answers to the study guides. Also the tests are in here as well. And the answers to the tests. And now I will show you a little bit from the multimedia CD. This experiment demonstrates how important concentration is in determining a chemical's behavior. What you're seeing here is a paint can that has been filled with methane. You call it natural gas. That methane has been ignited, so a pleasant blue flame comes out the hole in the top of the can. Now this is actually a chemical reaction in which methane, CH4, reacts with oxygen, O2, to make carbon dioxide, CO2, and water, H2O. Now if you don't understand that chemical equation, don't worry about it. The important thing is, it's a chemical reaction between methane and oxygen. Next I will show you some of the science kit that comes with this program. I purchased mine from Nature's Workshop Plus. You can get this from christianbook.com as well. And this shows all of the things included in this kit and on the back it explains all of the things that you provide on your own. So let me show you how it is in the box as it comes. So here's an example. This is for module 4 and everything you need for that chapter is in here, even little things like the paper clip. So I'll show you a few other examples. 
this is for module two. There's a candle and it tells you what to save for lessons coming up. So even little tiny things that you need are in here so that you don't have to scramble around and try to find them. A cup, some ping pong balls in here. So that is all I have for you about exploring creation with physical science. I hope you guys have a great day. Thanks for watching.